When we look up at the stars and see those bright stars shining in the night, we often have the illusion that these celestial bodies are suspended in space. However, this is only a visual illusion, in fact, the celestial bodies are moving in their orbits at high speed all the time. The truth behind this phenomenon involves a fundamental understanding of force and motion in physics. In ancient times, people lacked an in-depth understanding of the laws of physics, and often had some wrong ideas. For example, the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle believed that force is what keeps objects in motion. This view was widely accepted at the time and dominated the academic community for a millennium. According to this theory, it seems that celestial bodies also need some kind of sustained force to maintain their suspension. However, with the development of science, this misconception was eventually corrected by Newtonian mechanics. Newton's first law states that force is the cause of changing the state of motion of an object, and if the net force on an object is zero, then it will either remain in a uniform linear motion or remain at rest. The stable movement of celestial bodies in space is not supported by some mysterious force, but because the forces they are subjected to reach a delicate balance. In the case of the Earth, it is not only subject to the strong gravitational pull of the Sun, but also by other celestial bodies such as the Moon. The direction of these forces is not perpendicular downwards, but towards their respective sources of gravity. In the case of the Earth, although we do not feel it, it actually moves around the Sun in an elliptical orbit under the combined action of the Sun's gravity and the centrifugal force generated by its rotation. If the Earth is compared to a satellite orbiting the Sun, then the initial velocity and gravitational pull required by it constitute the conditions for its motion around the Sun. In the same way, the gravitational pull between celestial bodies is also a key factor in their ability to orbit each other in space without falling. If we look at it from the point of view of Newtonian mechanics, we will find that the celestial body does not have a downward force to pull it, so it does not fall. On the contrary, celestial bodies move along their own orbits because their net force in space is zero, which is the real reason why they are stably suspended in space.